Hello, Paul is the best for UK here and welcome to another video. Now today's game is a bit special as it's homebrew. It's a game called Xelden Ring. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. We're going to run it first on the MSX1 system. So let's uh, put MSX1 in the, the, uh, the system here. And uh, yeah, let's start the emulation. Now this game works on MSX1, MSX2, but it works best on a system called Turbo R, MSX Turbo R, which I'll show in the video. But um, that's what that's the latest. I think that was the last MSX line of computers that had a double clock speed or something like that. But yeah, we've got extra options. We got our options here. It's just like your, your controls and stuff. So let's start the game. Now this is three dimensional. Now, as you can see, it runs quite slow, but the technical achievement here is quite staggering. Yeah, it's amazing that this is running on the 1983 MSX original. Only 64k of RAM and it still runs as well. Reminds me of them Freescape games. You can actually look up and down as well. You're, you play as that character with the horns on the side. It kind of reminds me of Nightmare, actually. On the, the, remember Nightmare, the TV show? Whoa, I pressed the wrong button there. So you sort of use a combination of both WSAD and the arrow keys to move and look around. Can you go out this room here? Oh, you can. What's this here? Is this a key? No, it's a sign. So we've got some trees out here and stuff. So yeah, as you can see, it's very impressive that it's running on the MSX1 with just 64k of RAM. It's a bit slow down there, but yeah, pretty impressive to be honest. So at the bottom of the screen, it tells you where you're entering. Entering middle bridge, as you can see. You can go in these doors and stuff. Not sure what you've got to do on the game, but I've found it impressive nevertheless. To the fireplace there. You can probably interact with the items somewhere. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it into Turbo R mode. The MSX2 version runs exactly the same. Um, but if I'm gonna go straight to M uh, Turbo R mode. So if I go to Turbo R mode here, change the MSX system. It's called MSX Turbo R. And uh, let's start the emulation. So this is Turbo R system. And like I said, this is the last generation, I think, of the MSX line of computers, like in middle 90s. But this one runs the best. So now you look at the improvement of how it runs on this mode. Look at that, silky smooth. It runs really impressive in this mode, as you can see. Well, in this system. Obviously, I'm just using emulators for this, but you would need a Turbo R to get this uh, sort of performance on the game if you've got the real hardware. So if you've got an MSX1 or two, you're out of luck with the prime rates, I'm afraid. But yeah, this is very impressive. You can't go in that building. I was looking for the door, I couldn't find one. You can look up and down, you can move side to side. Very impressive. Okay, you can't go in that door either. Okay, you can actually move about if you change the camera angle. And you go back to it and then you can walk again. You can like sort of freeze the camera and walk about. It's kind of cool, isn't it? And then just get it back whenever you want. How cool is that? So the game's got music as well as you can hear. Quite cool that you can like sort of move about at well as well without having to have the camera follow you. Really cool. And then you can just put it back into behind the camera again. 
Shall we go outside again on this uh, Turbo R version? So as you can see, nice and smooth graphics even on the outside. No real slowdown to be honest. But yeah, so that's El Zelden Eggs. I don't know how you say it, Zelden Ring. I'm going to say Silent X maybe. I'm going to give this one 10 out of 10, absolutely superb. But it's 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 best played on a tur if you're lucky enough to have an MSX Turbo R system. Some of the later Panasonic models, I think, were like that. But it does run on all the MSX systems. It's just got a slower frame rate on the older ones. So uh, thank you for watching. Have a pleasant evening. And I'll see you in the next video. So uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye and happy Wednesday.